What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a beauty Q&A video on Instagram. I think a few weeks ago I asked you guys to send me some questions that you guys want me to answer. Half of them were pretty much beauty questions and the other half were more personal questions. So I decided to split them up into two different videos. Today's video is also in collaboration with EOS. They sent me the new EOS crystal lip balm. So yeah, let's jump straight into this video. One of the number one questions I get a lot is nude lipsticks or just like your favorite lipstick. Um, most of you guys already know red is my favorite lipstick shade. When it comes to reds, I like them more matte, so I don't really normally go for like a glossy red lip, which is weird because with my dry skin, you would think that I would stay away from anything matte, anything dry, which I typically normally do. I normally like more anything that has a more luminous finish, but with reds, I just feel like it looks better matte. So before I always put on any kind of matte lipstick, I always use some sort of moisturizer or some sort of lip balm, and I have been using the new EOS Crystal Lip Balm. I have it in the flavor hibiscus peach and it's vegan cruelty free and wax free and it has a bunch of different oils like shea oil coconut oil and aloe leaf juice which is really good for hydration I've actually been DIYing a mask lately with aloe vera and it's super good for hydration and like plumping the skin so that really helps especially right before you apply a matte um, for nudes my current favorite nude lipstick is max um, among the fireflies or double shot those are really really pretty I feel like nude is kind of relative to your skin tone so what may be nude on me might be too dark on you if you have a lighter complexion than I do what might be nude on you may be too light on me so I think you just got to find something around your skin tone um, just what you would consider nude yourself I like more of a pinky mauvey nude for me personally because that fits my undertone best and it looks better more flattering on my lips what are some high-end low-end and medium-end products that are hands down your favorite any beauty size skincare products you've hit pan on or emptied out like I want to know what I'm missing out on <laughs> okay so high end actually let's start with low low end products that I have been obsessed with from day one L'Oreal color Riche lip gloss in rich rose I also really like elf's um, blush palette in dark and then na, 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 na. I so bad on the spot when I'm thinking of really good stuff like I'm gonna come back to this video later on I'm gonna be like oh yeah that one so on the medium end I love NARS naturally radiant longwear foundation oh my god I finally got the name right I love that foundation it's literally my all-time favorite right now and also for on the more high-end side is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer. You guys have seen me talk about that highlighter so much. That's like one of my favorite highlighters. So another question is, what is your favorite red lipstick? Um, currently, there, I have a few that I really like. I like um, Sephora Collections Always Red. I also like Fenty's um, Stunner Lip Paint. Stunner? Stunner. No, Uncensored. <laughs> wow. I like Fenty's Uncensored lip paint and I'm wearing this one right now this one's from Jouer it's like a deep kind of whiny color this is a really pretty color too what are some non-perfume products that you love the smell of most at first when I got this question I was like this is kind of this is a kind of weird like random question but then when I thought about it I was like I already know like exactly Dior has this primer what is it let me find it. Dior's line of capture youth smells so good <laughs> I don't know what they put in here it's ugh, it smells so good it smells so clean I like more of clean like linen-y fresh smells so maybe that's why because that's what it smells like to me but what is the easiest and quickest skincare routine you recommend if I had to like rush 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 I would use the cleansing oil that rinses off clean which is the Boscia, Boscia, I know I'm saying that wrong, but it's a Boscia cleansing oil that rinses off pretty clean. You don't have to really go in with a, another cleanser on top of that. Boscia, and then I'll use a serum. I've been loving, loving, loving Advanced Night Repair from Estee Lauder, um, and then a moisturizer. Yeah. Three steps if I had to cut it all the way down. If I didn't, then it's like a whole nother ordeal. I would go cleansing oil, cleanser, micellar water um, and then toner and then serum moisturizer and an oil how many steps is that that's like six that's so many how long have you had your YouTube channel what is your ultimate goal so I think I'm coming up on two years now which is kind of crazy um, 
yeah that's crazy coming up on two years now what is my ultimate goal as a beauty influencer i feel like i'm living my ultimate goal like this is literally what i saw out to do which is basically to create more diversity in the beauty industry and just kind of like bring awareness to the fact that um there's deeper skin people out here that need makeup too or that want to wear makeup too what is your favorite primer and foundations uh, my favorite primer right now is the dior capture youth matte maximizer that's a really good primer and then recently i just got the covergirl true blend skin smoothing primer which is also a really really good one uh next question is what is your favorite drugstore foundation with no flashback favorite drugstore foundation i would have to go with l'oreal true match in c10 that's one of my faves um, um CoverGirl just came out with a new foundation. I like that. The undertone is slightly off on that one though. Oh, um, if you like matte foundations, the Maybelline Fit Me is a really good one too. Best foundation brush. I typically use a sponge with foundation. I hardly ever use a brush, but if I do, I like like little stippling blush, little stippling brushes like these, but most of the time I'm using a sponge. Favorite hairstyle, I used to absolutely hate straight hair. And it's still not my absolute favorite. I love curly hair, I just hated the process. It took me so long, because I'm such a perfectionist at times um, that I'll spend like an hour and a half curling my hair. I like curly hair. If I had a choice, I'd always go with curly hair. Straight is just sometimes so much easier, because you just take a flat iron and run it through and you're done. Favorite perfume, oh my god. Okay, so I just got this um, Dior Addict. Yeah, Dior Addict. Um, it, it smells so good, so bomb. But before that, it was the J'adore by Dior. And then Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Those were like, bae. But this new one, I think it might be my new favorite. How can you avoid makeup ashiness, especially on melanin-rich skin like yourself? Um, ashiness, for, as far as makeup, I tend to stay away from powder foundations. I haven't found a powder foundation that is not ashy on me. Um, also, your undertone is super important. If you, for me, if I wear something with a yellow undertone, that's uh, undertone that's too yellow, too heavy on the yellow side, it will look ashy on me. It will look gray, and that's just not cute. So, undertone is very important. If you if you have more of a yellow undertone to you and you find a foundation that has a red undertone, it will make you look like slightly darker and almost Oompa Loompa-ish. Um, so that's why undertone is so important. It can go either way. Did you ever dye your hair a bright color and if so, what color? I've been actually thinking about going gray. Gray has been on my mind for a long time now, actually. Like a really long time. I just don't know why. I actually have attempt. I have attempted. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've attempted and failed miserably. So maybe that's why I haven't done it. I just need to get a professional up in here to just help me with my hair problems. Like, I just need to. Um, last question is, what is your favorite drugstore or more affordable brand that seems to cater to your skin tone? Um, drugstore, affordable brand that seems to cater to my skin tone. It's hard because, I think I've said this before, a company might have a foundation shade that's like bomb.com, but then when it comes to concealer, contour, everything else, it's just kind of like, uh, what happened? So I haven't really come across a company that kind of just does it all, like foundation, contour, concealer, ready to go, and I can use a full face and feel like I look the best I've ever looked. So I'm still trying to find that, so we'll see. Yeah, I think that's all we have for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little quick beauty Q&A video. Thank you so much to EOS for sponsoring this video, and thank you to you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love, and I'll see you guys next time.